So guys, what's up? What's up? How on a day? Yeah, I hope everybody is doing fine. So I just want to make uh, some clarifications here. Uh, because last time I brought a video um, about the visit of um, Olaf Scholz. Where is his video? Olaf Scholz, um, who met with uh, President uh, Bola Ahmed Tinubu in Nigeria. And then they signed a partnership, um, what would I call it, a partnership um, um, deal okay, for deportation. And I told you people that uh, Tinubu accepted the offer to deport Nigerians from Germany. Okay, He accepted that offer. But I was surprised at the comment section. Everybody was like, oh, it's a lie. It's a lie. It's a lie. And people were... Even other, some other bloggers said it, is, it was a lie that um, Tinubu never accepted it. And he was, they were like, oh, the obstacles we have in Nigeria are gone and never to return. I said, wow, do you think that the president would say that um, his citizens are obstacles? No, that is not what he meant. He signed a partnership deal with Germany government. Okay? And the deportation I told you people that was going to happen has started happening. So. Even yesterday, a day before yesterday, which was on the 7th of November, 2023, deportation already took place. Deportation to Nigeria already took place. I told you guys that about 14,000 Nigerians were um, uh, going to be deported from Germany. And about, um, what will I call it, about 12,500 had already received um, this their document they call Dundum. Okay, I've been a dung dung, I've been the color. Dung dung, they have already received that. So they they they, they were not gonna be spared. So those of you who doubted me on the comment section, especially on TikTok, a lot of people came there and said it was a lie. I was lying, I was chasing cloud. In fact, all the news I bring is uh, false and all that. So it has started happening. It has started already. So look at it here, as you can see. Now look at this. It was on it, um, Dienstag, okay, I think that's um, a, a Dutch Dutch language. Mojen, mm, in fact, make a no two tongue because I can't read this uh, Dutch language. Nigeria, Dienstag, 7th November on 600. Munchen, that is uh, Munchen, that is Munich to Lagos. Tomorrow, 7th November at 6 a.m., there will be a charter deportation to Nigeria from Munich Airport. Has stopped deportation. Tomorrow, Tuesday, November 7th, 2023, 6 a.m., charter deportation to Nigeria, departs 6 a.m. from Munich, arrives 12.21 at Lagos, Nigeria. Now you can see that. So I haven't even finished my um, explanation, and it has started happening already. So all of you who made the uh, videos and saying that it was a lie, I was um, giving false information or wrong information. I think you people should come and apologize to me for, <laughs> for for accusing me of giving wrong or false information. Anything I'm telling you <laughs> is the real truth. It has started happening already. What's today's date? Today, I, I made this video on the 9th of um, this, uh, what would I call it? Today is 8. Then maybe I might post it on 9. Anyway, anyhow it comes. Yeah? But the truth to be told that deportation of Nigerians in uh, germany have started already so that's the truth of the matter let me know what you guys think about it in fact there are more meetings going on uh, and the italian own is also looking for a way i'm going to give that update later on how the italian government has gone to Albania to build camps where the migrants uh, who are arriving in italy will be processed i will be showing you that but this is part of the video which i got from that side but I've not played that later. But let me play this one to you that has to do with Germany. Or let me start with um, the one that uh, Tinubu spoke with uh, uh, Olaf Scholz. Okay, now look Checked at in this. Lagos. Nigerians returning from Germany receive support to make a new start in their home country. German okay. Chancellor Olaf Scholz visited the Center for Labor, Migration and Reintegration, an office that helps returnees find jobs. It is good for them to have uh, the future with uh, being able it is good for them to have uh, a future with uh, being able to uh, to have income, to have a job, to have uh, also the chance for founding business themselves. 
And before that event at the German-run center, the chancellor met with German-Nigerian entrepreneurs. Scholz addressed the migration issue in his speech. More than ever before, we are offering legal pathways to come to Germany to work there. Okay. At the same time, those who can't stay under these new rules should be able to return. Okay. A day earlier, Scholz met with President Bola Tinubu. The number of Nigerians who have to leave Germany is relatively high. Many no longer have passports, and Nigeria doesn't accept substitute documents provided by Germany. Tinubu promised to improve the situation. Okay. We are ready to enter into partnership okay. to improve our migration situation. Okay. People can go through the process as long as they are of good behavior and good character. Mm -hmm. In return, Germany is entering talks with Nigeria aimed at establishing an acceptable quota for legal immigrants. But this requires a joint agreement, which is likely to take time. Okay. So you guys heard about this uh, update here. Yeah, I told you, Tinubu accepted and it has started happening already. So what, what other evidence does people require uh, to believe what I am telling them? Now listen to this. Please. At the Brussels meeting, all eyes were on Germany. Would the country greenlight a new EU rulebook for migration crisis? Okay. I signaled approval today on behalf of the German government because the completion of the common European asylum system legislation is of huge importance to us. This new regulation is designed to kick in when large numbers of migrants all head towards Europe at the same time. It would allow member states to relax certain rules. But Germany was worried that would lead to a drop in the standards guaranteeing migrants human rights, especially for children. So initially did not agree. That stalled negotiations on parts of a sweeping asylum reform. Now Berlin is on board. So is the deadlock over? Not quite yet. There are no main obstacles left. We will reach an agreement. There was a broad majority for the proposal, and that will be happen in a few days. Italy is reportedly not satisfied with the new proposals. The country, on the EU's external border, says it's feeling the strain from an increase in immigration. And other EU states say the same. Last year, nearly one million people applied for asylum in the European Union. This is the highest number since 2015 and 2016, when millions of refugees and migrants came to the EU. Most first-time applications in 2022 were registered in Germany, France and Spain. But that's not where most migrants initially arrive. Right. There are different routes to the EU. Migrants who cross the Mediterranean Sea arrive irregularly in Italy or Greece. Others attempt to enter overland through the Western Balkans. Both routes are dangerous. But crossing the Mediterranean has proven especially deadly. Thousands drown every year. EU border countries, where most migrants arrive, want relief. They say other EU members should help share the burden. But reaching agreement on how to achieve this has created deep divisions, which the interior ministers have once again failed to overcome. Okay, I believe um, you all have heard it from them. So there is no more big deal here. When we give you information, so uh, imagine if somebody was um, taking my advice and then uh, was gonna hide because I gave you guys information. I said, those of you in Germany, you know you have all these dung dung or all those, uh, you are not comfortable there. They have given you a kind of a red notice that you can't stay in Germany again. And then uh, such person wanted to take my advice and you just go to the comment section and say, it's a lie, you are lying. You have deceived that person to stay there. And then um, you know that um, the German police has been given enough power now to bust into your home and pick you up. So that's exactly what has happened. How it happened, I don't know, but I know that uh, people have been deported back to Lagos on the 7th of November, 2023. So I beg, if you know how it happened in Germany and all that, or if you have any further info that you can, you know, drop on the comment section, please do, so we'll know what's going on uh, down there. Please don't forget to help me share this video inform others so they will be aware of what's going on for those of you who are still there you still have opportunity to <laughs> will i call it escape 
can still escape, go to another country like maybe.